All right, guys, I have one more Chatty Zebra curriculum to share with you um, at this weekend. And this one is Myths and Legends. And yes, I already have a Myths um, unit from Blossom and Root. Uh, however, when I looked through this, I felt like there was enough, enough overlap, but enough different information that I found it worthwhile to have both. Um, there are places where we can log some of our reading from um, like the Percy Jackson series that we're gonna be reading um, with the Blossom and Root curriculum. Um, but I also felt like there are other places in here that are different enough um, that it was worthwhile. So I'm gonna see if I can overlap the two units in some way, uh, but I really liked what I found in here. So we start off with, um, and I don't know, so there's this, we have a whole list of films and programs. Okay, so what is a myth? So we start with learning what is a myth and what is a legend? What does a myth need? What does a good legend need? And here's some, it says myths and legends. These are some Greek myths you might want to study and it gives you a whole list of Greek myths. Then we come over here, myths and legends, Greek mythology, Greek gods and goddesses. Here's a mood board. Stick images here that you find inspiring about Greek mythology. Draw a Greek mythological hero. Skip the page, draw a Greek mythological monster. Main characters, choose a Greek myth and what are the main characters? Make a storyboard about the Greek myth. Write an alternate ending or twist to the Greek myth character traits and story. Illustrate a page for the Greek myth. Copy your favorite lines or passage from the Greek myth. And you may have noticed um, the spelling here. Uh, she is in the UK, I believe. So um, I, I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. When there's different spellings, it's a good opportunity for us to talk about why there are different spellings and the history of words in America. Um, Greek myth film adaptation review, Greek mythological word bank, so we've got vocabulary. I'm so sorry about this clock, I'm sitting right next to it, and we put new batteries in it, and it seems to be particularly loud. <laughs> and I also feel like it always dings when I'm in my videos, so I apologize. Um, Greek mythological art, Perseus and the Greece sisters, is that what that says? I don't know. Music inspired by Greek mythology. Persephone by Stravinsky. So we get even music. Art and music is incorporated into this. Music inspired by Greek mythology. Draw a Greek mythological hero and a monster. Main characters from a story, storyboard. So we're getting into a little bit of a pattern here. Again, some art and some music. So you can see the way this is working. Um, my intent is to kind of overlap it with some of the stories that we're reading with Blossom and Root um, and kind of use this as a way for them to document their reading and track it. Um, and then also add in the, the um, art and music study as well, which I think is a really cool twist um, I like that a lot. Draw weapons. Okay, and then here we've got myths and legends from around the world you may want to study. So these ones are all in different locations around the world, and she listed here where they are from. So for us, this is really cool because as we travel around, we can read um, a myth or a legend that relates to the country that we are currently in. So this was another thing that really got my attention. Now, well, that's really cool. Um, Norse gods and goddesses. Oops, I mispunched that page. It was literally just that one page. And there's some more. Art and music. I'm starting to skip pages just because you're, you can see now that we've got a bit of a pattern, but now we're doing the Norse myths. 
Okay, now we're into Egyptian. Egyptian art, music. Pages. Okay, what happens in the afterlife according to the Book of the Dead? What happens in the afterlife according to the Book of the Dead? So she's got the topics there. Worthy and unworthy. What happened after weighing of the heart? Okay, and then here we have Rick Rorden, Modern Adaptations. So this is what I was referring to. The Lightning Thief is one of the reads um, that's recommended in the Blossom and Root unit. Um, so we'll probably stick with that. Um, I actually read it many years ago. If I'm being quite honest, it was not my favorite book, but I also did not know much about mythology. And so I think for me, it was hard for me to follow a lot of the gods and goddesses and not really understanding who they were. Um, so I'm actually kind of excited to learn a little bit more about it and then dig back into it and see if I enjoy it more. We'll see. I'm going to give it a fair try. Um, Rick Rorden author profile. And then we've got a book report over here. The main characters. Draw one of the heroes. Draw a monster and a creature. Um, storyboard. An alternate ending or twist. Illustrate a page from the story. Copy your favorite lines or passages from the story. A Percy Jackson film adaptation review. Original versus modern versions. And then here's myths and legends. These are some legends that you might want to study. So now we're moving on to the legends. And we've got a mood board about legends. Stick images here. Choose a legend you want to study. What are the main characters? Okay, so we're going back into the same pattern now, but we're doing it with legends this time. What is the real life location for the legend? Truth or fiction? Debate whether you think your legend really happened or is just fictional. I really like this. And this is one of those things that because it's broad, you could really print this out multiple times and you could do it with multiple legends. Just because there's only a spot here to do one doesn't mean you can only do one. Um, we did a Robin Hood study at the end of this last year, and it would have been fabulous to use this um, with Robin Hood because we had some of those discussions, but to have somewhere to write it down and discuss it and note it, it just was pretty cool. So, And then we've got art and music. And so, um, the, like I said, the nice thing is you can, you can reprint these pages, you know, as many times as you want or need to get through the number of myths and legends that you would like. Um, and you could technically even modify some of these pages. Um, like we went through the um, Greek, Norse, and um, Egyptian, but she had given you a list of different ones from all over. You could technically just change the wording on the page for your kiddos here. And you could do these other ones, right? Um, so just because that she has you studying through a Norse and an Egyptian doesn't mean you can't go back and do Inuit and Polynesian um, with the same pattern and the same topics. So anyway, um, I'm really excited about this one. I think it's going to be really easy to overlap it with what we already have in place. Um, and I'm really liking the patterns and the topics discussed. So I wanted to share that one with you. Um, like I said, I'll have three more or so coming your way in the next week. Um, once I get them printed and bound and everything, I'll share them with you. Um, as before, I will have a link in my bio to her webpage. Um, I will also tag her Instagram, and she is on Facebook as well. Um, so uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you go to her website, you can get one free so if you're interested in checking these out, you just have to go on and give her your email address. And she is super generous and super kind and is willing to give you a free unit to try. And I promise you will not be sorry. There are probably, if I had to throw a guess out, 30 plus units or topics to choose from, um, maybe even more. So um, if you're not interested in the ones I've shared, 
uh, I would still go to her page and check out what she has because she's got a lot. So anyway, um, I hope you found this helpful and I hope you're having a fabulous day and I will talk to you guys later.